please don't fight. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Chris? Here we go. There we go. What's up, everybody? Better late than never. Chris, stop. <laughs> stop, please. Just don't. This was a horrible idea. This was such a get away from me, dude. <laughs> Sam, please talk. What's up, everybody? Welcome to twitch.tv slash to our weekly white short show, Clock to Draw, I am your host, Sam the Mom, and our other hosts for Clock to Draw, my co-hosts, Joel Morazzo and Chris, hey. the bitch, and <laughs> homeboy here, all the way from California. What you call me? I said, I'm talking about Justin. Oh, okay. Homeboy from <laughs> California. All the way from the West Coast. Pretty much. Justin McBride. Hey, what's up, people? How's it going, buddy? Contacted hey. me on the face, bitch, and said, Homie, hook it up with your boy. I'm going to talk to you about the West for some the West Side. Yeah. And I said, that's what's up. <laughs> yep. So he's a guest host for tonight. He's going to tell us what's up. And uh, I thought it'd be cool... And Joel thought it'd be really cool, and Chris thought it'd be really cool when I to have to a sleepover it. tonight. Right? <laughs> Stop looking at me like that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I thought it'd be really cool to get the what the community is like on that side, since you know the three of us, me, Joel, and Chris. Are uh, Chris Joel and I? But don't uh, Chris Joel and I. Sorry, grammar, <laughs> whatever. Nobody cares. Uh, so what the what the scene is like over there on that side? Fear the shy guy says he's not getting anything, dude. What do you um, mean? Uh, but uh, yeah, dude. This is clock to draw. Hopefully it is. We'll see. Yeah, apparently I'm <laughs> yeah. not. It's so um um uh. My backdrop broke, so I don't have one. So you can look at my my purplish bistro wall and my Toe Jam and Earl poster. I don't really give a damn. Yeah. So, uh, sorry. Actually, I actually do kind of care because Joel did give me a backdrop to use, and I keep leaving it in the car. And <laughs> but, oh, um, no, yeah, you, so my... you're forgetting. This was from three months ago. Yeah. Yeah. If not more. <laughs> so I think it was you winter of last year. Oh, shit. Toe Jam and Earl poster right oh, there if you want. Nice, man. Um, I'm just not cool enough to have a backdrop. You have a Dracula poster, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah, like, that's... Uh, Look at, well, it's not Chris mine, it's my friend's. Chris has no hair. Bro. I you have no hair. <laughs> Chris I has no hair right now. <laughs> dude, I'm... It's awesome to finally have another person on this show for tonight who's got long hair, don't care. Shout out to my boy, Justin, for having long hair, don't care. The only downside yeah, is now Chris has to sit, like, he came over yeah. to sit next to me now. That's why our... That's why our, our, our if you'll notice... We're 1,400 power tonight, because there's two of us here. Joel Chris, <laughs> super hosts. Oh! <laughs> and, our, and our card's a little bigger, because there's two of us. We're fat. Now. Come on, get over it. We're fat. So, um, let's get right into it, shall we? Do it. Welcome to Clutch Drive, everybody. Welcome. Um, so, this is going to be cool. Yes. Because Justin is close to one of the Neo Showdown locations. Um, but we were talking earlier, and he may not even play in it just because. But, I mean, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, I think that's pretty cool, though. Um, he's got a chance to go because one of the locations was Anime Expo. Um, but, yeah, so, like, not really any news, really. Except for, you know, I think we said it last week, that, you know, the Lock Horizon, Kill Kill, and... Conte are all out, whatever. Yeah. I finally I know what Conkle means now. It's Conte <laughs> Collection. 
Oh, Conkle. Conkle! I have to I, uh, Brian, I mean, I you say I look like 10? <laughs> I honestly wasn't excited for that set. Um, I got beat by it today, so whatever. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you weren't excited for what, Conti? Yeah, I got beat by a trial deck. Granted, I did get clocked out to level two, three before he hey, was level almost won. one. You almost won. I got shit locked. Dude, was I heard that trial deck was actually really good. Not bad. It seems to work. I think it's the <laughs> best of the, the three. Is yeah, what I, I heard. Would say so. I haven't I, played I, the Kill a Kill one. Yeah, I've never seen I bought Kill a Kill, 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 haven't played it, but I have played Log Horizon. I bought two Log Horizon decks. That deck's honestly not that good, but whatever. I just like Akatsuki. Well, it's funny. Sam bought Kill a Kill like, when it came out, <laughs> and he just got it back yesterday. Because oh, he yeah. kept not getting it. <laughs> he left it at the oh, store. Lazy business. And so I brought it home for him. <laughs> yeah. And embarrassed him. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, buddy. So, um... I got reports. It does. Okay, so we got reports. Justin, did you Ooh. play any White Schwartz this past any week, man? You got uh, any yeah, like, pulls I, or buys or reports that you want to talk about? Uh, I played some. I've got so, something I can one. show off. Nothing really special, but my it's my copies one. of uh, Log Horizon came in, and so I really suck at opening cards. Like I I open cards and I never pull anything cool because I'm a scrub. Like nope. not even kidding you. I, I've purchased <laughs> probably 16 plus trial decks. At least like ten boxes and over thirty loose packs, and I've like I've pulled one sign in a trial deck. Hey! Uh, I still pulled no triple rares. That I pulled no triple just rares. Like me. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so, anyways, my my two killer kill trial or not killer kill my uh, log horizon trial decks come in right, mm -hmm. and uh, my buddy's like, "Yo, can I open one?" Because he plays Wash Wars too. I'm like, "Sure, no problem." So I opened mine. I didn't get shit because I never get anything. And he opens a triple rare Akatsuki for me. So <laughs> you can't see it on this crappy camera, but. Yeah, oh, it's you know, yeah, dude. Yeah, for sure. It happens. It's always like, when your friend opens it. It's like, yeah, yeah, and like, <laughs> and so like my friend's like, dude, you finally got something out of a trial deck, and I said, no, you did. I just bought it. <laughs> 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 <It's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, weird. It God. always is your friend that pulls your signs and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, like, like, I, like no. the only sign I've ever pulled was a seven K vanilla. No, I bet it's an uncommon, <laughs> too, isn't it? Huh? I bet it's uncommon too, isn't it? Why are seven um, K vanillas always uncommon? Stupid. Trial deck. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I think it counts as trial deck card. This deck box, I think. I don't know. I don't even know why I bought this deck. Like, it's not even that good of a deck. Because it's just... a trial deck, and that's what we yeah. do. Because we're idiots. Well, I mean, yeah. Okay, now Suki. Because I. <sighs> Suki. It's called cardboard crack for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Ready? Yeah. All right. So, what it normally looks like. Oh right. yeah, dude. And my awesome sign, which you cannot see the signature because I've got a crappy camera. Give me your oh, address you really quick, dude. My address? Yep. I'm going to come steal that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. We'll we'll we got this. We'll we'll You're driving. My car sucks. L L Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, that's bonus. Okay. okay. Yeah, so is it even, <laughs> that thought was really cool. Justin in, lives in California. Yeah, he, he's there right now visiting some homies. But he lives in a smaller town about three hours away from L.A., so his community there is not really big, but in Las Vegas, where he goes to school, his community is huge. Mm -hmm. In the the West Coast, it's, it's getting bigger. Good, that's like ours yeah. right now. Ours is growing. So a guy was in there today, so I'm picking up trial decks. He, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, he wants me to teach him how to play in this really? league. So yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah, that's dude. Awesome. So I mean, the the fact that Justin's on this show tonight, being from where he is, is gonna be really cool. I think it'll be yep. good. He can spread the word and show the love. He's like, hey, I was on this episode. Watch this joint. So thank you, Justin. Thanks, bud. Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks, no Justin. Problem. No, thank you guys. I appreciate what you guys have done for the community, and I'm glad that I can be a part of this. So you know what? As a reward, you can have some. Yep. <laughs> you can take him. Yep. You pay for shipping oh. though. <laughs> you have to rent. You have to rent a semi, but you know it should be fine. You know what? Well, Som? I initially. What? I, I initially I was on the on the Wash Wars foreign group on Facebook mm -hmm. and I saw Sam post and I knew who he was but I didn't really bother like talking to him at all or anything. Yeah, because and uh, nobody really. And does. then I went to YouTube. I, I went to YouTube to watch uh, Clock the Draw and you guys were talking about. Uh, well, there was a, the chat was talking about Zero Kaima and Fairy Tale, yep. and it was driving me nuts because I play both of those series <laughs> yeah. and I was wanting to explode because you're like. 
nobody knew what Zernos Kaima did, and like you, nobody was talking about Fairy Tail too much. So I right. was like ready to jump out of my seat because I play both of those. Mm-hmm. So after that, I was like, I'm gonna contact him and see if I can't get on this podcast or this uh, this broadcast and have some fun with them and be a part of this fun. Right. Yeah, dude. No, I think that's another reason it was important for us to to get, bring you on tonight because we wanted to talk about this because Fairy Tale is like, and we and I don't know, Joel and Chris don't know this, but me, when me and you were talking earlier today on Facebook. Um, you were saying that fairy tale wasn't like very big where you play, and like fairy tale in our card shop is hardcore. Dude, like, I'm the only fairy tale player around here. Like, I know there's some in LA, but I don't live in LA. Like two or three even, at least. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Even then, though, like even then, it's still like not that popular from what I've heard. And I know a lot of people because I'm on Pojo a lot, mainly just for random stuff. I don't really take people there seriously, but I know a lot right. of people knock fairy tale because it's old and it's honestly like. It's honestly not that powerful of a set, but if you play it right, the deck's insane. So, no, I mean, I've, right. I've invested anything, tons of money in Fairy Tail. That goes the same with so, any well, game and any card game. Well, except this deck, which, <laughs> which this was this is like the worst kept secret that I've had all week. By the way, blew it anyway. I, 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 <laughs> oh yeah, I already blew it on yeah the late night show. Yeah. So this is my poll and report time right now. Okay. I finally got the set that I bought singles for. I know I said I don't buy singles. But right. he didn't. And yeah, I said I there was a reason that I bought singles this time. There was an absolute reason for doing it. And it was because uh, Douchebag McGee over here was like, Joel, guess what's on you, you take? Right? No, I was talking about you, dude. Yeah? No. Oh, that's fine. He was on you, He's like, dude, there's uh, uh, Sengoku's on there. And I was like, oh, damn it, dude. Come on. <laughs> so I, uh, I went ahead and I bought the... the I built what I thought was a decent deck of Sengoku Basada. That was my special. This is like the strongest I can get is like 10 5. Right? <laughs> and that's with like with the climax. So, oh, yeah. it's not super competitive, but I don't even care because the art's so gorgeous on this set. So, why are dying? You look cool. You know, it's like all watercolor and, and like paint and like, like, look at this. This is absolutely insane. Super, super, super pretty. Really cool. Dude, I totally awesome. forgot Look at this. that I also have polls and reports. I'm not done yet. Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no one even cares anymore. Whatever. <laughs> 5K level zero. Love it. But uh, yeah, so this was like my, my super secret set that I spoiled as soon as I got it. Yeah, he's like, oh man, but you like, I, was like, I guess I can show you guys. You know, I couldn't help it. So that's what I'm super proud of. And then, speaking of friends pulling your signs for you. Oh, yeah. I think a couple weeks ago we said that Chris <laughs> pulled my first ever sign that I've ever gotten that's not guaranteed. That's not a trial deck. He pulled my my, uh, my Madoka, my sign Homura. This was like a month, two months ago, something like that. So yeah, then, that's sweet. Um, level up, the game shop that I work at and then we all go to, restocked Love Live 1. And if anyone knows, I have a ton of Love Live cards because this set's awesome. It's all about Alley Alpha, which I don't have handy. And I bought one box. And Chris pulls the money card for me. <laughs> That's right. The $125, $28 sign card that I actually need, too. So, thank you, Chris. No problem. That was my pull and buy. And then, it's not out. <laughs> then I got two Excel World boxes in the mail because they restocked them. And I ended up pulling uh, garbage out of one box because that's how it always goes. <laughs> And um, a triple rare of a card that I love. And also, I want to point this out, too, now that I'm, now that I'm on a public forum. Um, hold, hold on a second. I bought in five boxes, by the way, of Excel World. Or the, you know, whatever. That one. Yeah, he's going to look for that while I do this. Um, there are basically two options for your double rare yellow, right? There's the level three mm-hmm. uh, Kuriki that stands, right? Yeah. And then there's this... I, I don't want to swear. There's this stupid brainstorm. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Five, including uh-huh. oh, wait, the wait. SR. Whoa. Let me tell you what this does. It's so shiny. If it's in the middle position of the front, it becomes a 2,500 attacker. The brainstorm plus is one soul. Brian. That's kind of sad. Brian, please. I have five of those. And one level three. Yeah, yeah, Brian, please dude, type you, that you, again. <laughs> and put, dude, you, put what your, your 
blood alcohol level is right now. I want to know. I'm super curious. Yeah, so here's the level three community um, that I only got one of. Dude, you nice. want to talk about you want to talk about bad pulls? I bought four boxes of Sword Art Online. I pulled no Silicas and no double rare searching Asanas. You want to hear about bad pull. luck on SAO Dang. boxes? I here's pulled... the here's the here's the triple rare though. I'm so happy. About that. <laughs> That's, That's so the exact awesome. opposite of me. I pulled one in every single box I got, and I got one or uh, silica in every single box I got. But then he got I, one I, of he got one of the healing magic uh, uncommon. Yeah, I never got, I didn't get a single one. I got one. He pulled it for me. Five boxes. I, yeah. I gave him my other ones because I bought two boxes yeah. and had it. I went around asking for donations for healing magic because yep. I didn't have any. <laughs> yep. Yeah, like I, I'm not even kidding you. I pulled no triple rares, no signs. Uh. I pulled like Jeez. six of the Asana, the level three Asana. Yeah. But oh, I, yeah. I, I pulled nothing I needed for the deck. Like I bought four and a half boxes of Sao, opened them, and then just went and bought the deck entirely in singles <laughs> because I pulled like the only thing oh, I had was so like sad. the three, the, the the three level three Asanas I needed, hmm. all of the uncommons I needed, and like a few of the rares I needed. It was all I had. I had to buy all the money cards after buying four and a half boxes. That's, God, that <laughs> hurts Man. more than anything, right? Because if you bought one box and you were like, oh, I need to spend money on extra cards, fine. Two, okay. Four. <laughs> or be like me, buy all my cards and then buy boxes. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually four and a half because uh, I actually split a box with a friend, too. So, yeah, like, yeah. I just pulled yeah. nothing good. Oh, get my vivid red stuff. I have more. I, I had so many cards this week. It was stupid. Oh, it's coming out of his pants. I also bought, they restocked vivid red, so of course I had to buy more of those, right? Because it was, I blame, I blame Ku, right? Because Ku is the only other one that plays vivid red there. Mm-hmm. And as soon as he found out they were getting more, Ku was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to buy them all. So then I was like, no, I'm going to buy them first, right? This is how it is. <laughs> so then we had like, we were like going to throw down on this big epic battle of vivid red versus, you know, vivid butt versus vivid butt, whatever. And so of course I picked out I picked up two boxes first, and I ended up getting the two most disturbing cards you could possibly have gotten. By the way, literally, we were think I think I don't know if we were going through over this on the show once, Chris. No, it's, on, it's in the other deck. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's in the yeah, black oh, one. Yeah. Uh, we were going through on the show once, and we were looking at the cards. I, I don't know if it's showing up, but Chris was like, "These two are the worst." Right? He's looking for the other one. I didn't pull anything else mm-hmm. really good. So I pull the triple rare version of this, right, which with a big old butt. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, the non triple rare version isn't zoomed so far out, so it's less. It's, it's less. It's still bad though. And then I pull in the second box the SR of this one. <laughs> oh my god! Come on! What are you trying to get, get him out of there? <laughs> what are you trying to say here? What? It's whatever. You know what? I play him now because it's funny. But okay, I'm done. <laughs> You want to know something crazy? What? So you guys probably have an idea of how much sealed product I've opened now. I've opened tons of sealed product. In fact, I told Sam earlier, so he has an idea. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I've yet to pull a single bag. Like I am convinced the entire world is trolling me with bags, and everybody's in on the joke but me. <laughs> That's my legitimate belief because I've yet to pull a bag. Really, dude? You want some? <laughs> I can pull them. I have expired like, ones if you want them. Here, you want like, a gold I'm one? Trying to... you want a gold one? <laughs> I can't get these damn like, I, I'm trying to pull a bag, uh, some bags, because I want to make visual arts, but yeah, really? yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not even kidding. I, the entire world is trolling me with this joke, is what it is. I I'm get convinced. all your bags, dude. I'm sorry. This guy. So, so what did you? My pull? pulls reports. I don't have any reports, but I got pulls. I bought. We all went on a YYT order, and I got robotics notes. Yep. That level three Akiho and that level three Irie though. And I also bought these. Bow! Nice. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah, I know. I found these really cheap on eBay. It's, like, literally the best sleeves. Like, there's Irie ones and other ones, but this is the best one because it's got um, Akiho and the Tanigashi machine. And so I built that. And when I bought these sleeves, I finished my Evangelion deck with the, with the level threes. Nice. Um, I bought these over sleeves with them. They're the emergency, like, octagons on a computer when, like, Ava's running out of battery, you know? That is so cool. And then, yeah, and then I bought, you know, the change and more of the, um, and then, uh, I bought more of the level three, um, uh, Ava. Nice. So, uh, yeah, really, these, these oversleeves are just, like, oh, yeah, those are nice. Oh, my God. 
I like, like it, the fanboy in me is just like. Argh! What was that? <laughs> Can you make that sound again? <laughs> Do it again. But man. hide your face. No, wait. Time out. Do the origin chat face and the sound. And at the same time. Yeah, yeah, please. Please. <laughs> Do it. Please. Do it. I like how Justin's already laughing because he already knows. Like, <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see it. <laughs> 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 I can't even anymore. Wow. Well done, Everybody sir. like in the chat just like Origin Chat? Right. I know. <laughs> well, that's why I, I told you to do it because you can't, you, you know, you, you know, whatever. Okay. Do we just get into it now? What do you want to talk about? Yeah. You know what I want oh to talk about? Oh well, my god. Well, I mean. I want to talk about ZNT. I feel like. I, yeah, I want to know what the hype is with ZNT, because I know, I, I don't know if I've ever played against, uh, there is a guy, too, at our local shop who plays it, but I don't know if I've ever played, played him with that deck. Mm-hmm. And... Do you know Skyma? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Like, so, Justin, is it hardcore, like, where you play in Las Vegas? Is that deck pretty, like... Because, I mean, no, I know a lot not... of people in... A lot of people in chat last last week and the week before were saying like yeah, you know, we're the advocates of you know yep. Zuna's Kaima is the best thing ever yeah. since I've since never Ryan. seen it in action either. No one... It's honestly, honestly, it's not that big in Vegas, but that's because Vegas is more of an English based community, so it's more like ah, sorted online okay. trading card game. Okay. But the more people are getting into Japanese game. There's one other guy besides me who plays Zuna Kaima. So, but uh, the deck is nuts. Pretty much because, well, there's two main builds, but what I think makes it crazy is there's a level three, which is this one right here. Yeah, royalty. And right, yeah. Uh, it, it comes out at level two, yep. and it's an on play heal. So, and there's an Eleanor booster for this level, or for all Louise characters. This is Louise from the anime. So, yep. basically, if you have two of those in play, assuming you don't have your level boosters out there yet, and they're zero zero, so they can be played in any deck, it basically is uh, 12,000 on your opponent's turn at level two. So yeah. that combined with the fact that Zero Notes Kaima can do some pretty crazy stuff with this event right here, mm-hmm. which is uh, it's salvage and then brainstorm three if you hit a climax salvage again. Oh, so it's a guaranteed salvage, so, and then you can do another one. Yes. Maybe. So okay. basically, the point of the deck, at least uh, this is the experience version of the deck, is to put the level booster and the vanilla. I'm sorry, this deck's not sorted at all. Nah, it's fine. But, don't worry about it. Don't worry, uh, we're never ready for anything anyway. Yeah, look at this. You put, the, you, you, put the, you put the 7k vanilla in your level zone, and then you put the level booster in your level zone, and that reduces the cost of the level 3. So you can just keep replaying it, and if you find a way to get over it, you just get it back with the salvage. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, the deck plays 8 gates, so you can just keep spam healing. And then even if they somehow get you to level 3, which actually isn't that uncommon, but mm-hmm. it's still pretty hard to do when you're just healing every single turn at level right. 2. Uh, there's a Louise Mutual Love, which is just another 10k. Mm-hmm. But if you have World's Door in play, it gets plus 3k. So the 1,000 from this climax makes a hit on 14 plus 3, I think. Yeah, it's plus 3. So nice. basically it hits on 14, so it gets over anything. Right. And it span heals. It's pretty sure. nice. I, I enjoy it, but that and, like another advantage this deck has is you guys know what spammable brainstorms are, right? Yeah. So the deck's... Chock full of spammable brainstorms. This is a spammable so. brainstorm. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Garbage. The, uh, the, de- the deck is chock full of spammable brainstorms. So, like, let's say you get in this position where you just don't have very many climaxes sure. in your deck or you sure. need to force a refresh. Uh, this brainstorm is brainstorm uh, four. For each climax reveal, he gets plus 3k. He's a 105k. So, uh, okay. he can easily kill a level three sure. by just doing it two or three times. And this is a searcher. So,. You search for X uh, amount of climaxes off your brainstorm, and then you discard that many cards. Yep. So. Okay. But, but yeah, but you know, I don't want to you know offend anyone who plays during this time or anything. But it sounds like a lot of this you know you can do with other decks though, and other sets. But 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 can you do all the same things in the same set? Yeah. Which one? No, because here's but here's the thing though. See, last week when we were talking about it, after we had. After we were off the show, I had to ask Chris. I was like, "Well, isn't this the same thing? Like, I can play this at level two. Technically, it's hard to get that out. In my deck, yeah. huh? Technically, it's harder to get that out. It's supposed to be more difficult, right? But but for me, like, all I had known was that oh, I can get this out at level two also, as well as that well, card. But but it's... but then Justin just explained just now that run eight gates, spam heal, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, there's more to it than that. Like, I'll show off these cards in just a second. But, like, another thing is, uh, you guys know what changers are, right? So, yeah. basically, if you've got a change, you need two cards to change, right? You need the card you're changing, and then you, like, you would need, like, the level three in the waiting room or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With, with Zero Note Sakaima, you don't even need that. You just have to have the level three in hand. So, levels one, zero and one, you kind of just stock up on the level three, and you put those two cards in your level zone for experience, and then you can just start playing your level three. And basically, you start your level three game at level two. Okay. So... But there's a few other cards, like the Louise Strongbond here is uh, you rest and brainstorm four for each climax you hit. You pick a cost zero character from waiting room and put it into play. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can, basically you can pick those Saitos I showed you earlier that get huge. Mm -hmm. You can pick the Suicider. Uh, the Suicider is, it reverses cost zero, not level zero. So you can kill oh. level ones with this too. Okay. As long as you've got two or less stock. And it's easy to drain your stock with your brainstorm skills. Sure. Uh this is a 3-5 beater that gains a level if you've got two or less stocks, so it's pretty aggressive at level zero. Okay. Uh, this is basically uh, an on-field counter. How it works is if one of your magic characters is front attack, you can put this in the waiting room and increase that magic character's attack by 1,500. Yeah. So, like, that makes it annoying. And then there's this uh, right event here. counter here. Yep. And yep. there's this event counter here, which is 3,500. And uh, you brainstorm, and Same if you hit the brainstorm, uh, this goes to stock, so it's basically free. Sure, okay. Because it's a 2 event counter. So I so, guess what, what makes it good is its healing capabilities, its consistency, and the advantage it makes. Because once you hit level 2, you just quit clocking to draw, because you play your level 3s, and then you just the ones you don't have, you just get out of the waiting room with your events. Okay. okay. And gates. Right. So, it's, so ZMT is the combination of things. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay. you know, I have a question for you. Like, I don't want to. I don't mean to like sound like offensive or anything. But if this is like the best set, you know, why doesn't everyone play it? Um. Be well, over here, it's because in California, the town I'm living in, the community is small in this town, and in Vegas, it's because they play Sorted Online, the trading card game. <laughs> and then I come in. <laughs> well, no, okay. I think I think you meant to say English by Schwartz, but yeah, they're about the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's well, yeah, but I mean, SAR English by Schwartz is. But, uh, yeah, I think people in L.A. play this deck, but I don't know. It's it's a really good deck. I know a lot of people over here like it. Like, in, in L.A., even though I'm not there, I know a lot of players like it, and I hear a lot of players talk about it. Um, so I think I'll try and answer Chris's question as best as I can. Um, now, if a lot of the Y Shorts players... There's, now, like I said last show, there's a handful of Y Shorts players that... Um, that don't care what the content matters. Yes. They'll just play a deck because it's good. Which could be like raise Chris's question, why doesn't everyone just play ZNT then? Um, well, ZNT, for some reason in my mind, sounds expensive. Like that sounds like one of the more expensive. It, it is pretty expensive. I'm not going to lie. The deck I've got is like worth 230 bucks. Okay. So, I mean, that right there is alone enough for me to like... But, I mean... Another thing, too, is, like, if, if you're a Weiss player, which I hope is most of the community, that only plays the deck when they know the, the content matter, you know, like, Zero Nose to Climb might be one of those, because it's one of the older sets, right? I mean, it might be one of those it's, ones that... It's older, and it's hard to get. It's kind of like Fairy Tale in that sense, where, like, Fairy Tale... The, well, aside from Fairy Tale, like Zero Notes of Kaima is often regarded to be way better than Fairy Tale, but Fairy Tale is hard to get because it's so old and like it wasn't very popular, so it only did one print run. But uh, Zero Notes of Kaima is popular, but it's also hard to get. Like, there's a lot of demand for it. I know a lot of people in LA really like the deck. I mean, I guess the best way to describe it is, is if you've played Magic, you know card advantage win ga wins games. That's all Zero Notes of Kaima is, is card advantage, because you you keep healing damage, and you gain card advantage without having to clock yourself. So you're not, you know, really getting to level 3 anytime soon. So you're, I have a question. Does anyone ever play two. Dog Days? I'm really curious. Does anyone ever play Dog Days? Dog Days would wreck this deck. Yep, player. that's what I'm saying. Dog Days would destroy. Oh, you saw it? Plus 2k. Yeah. Plus 2k again. That's, oh my god. That's plus 2k. True, dude. Oh, plus 2k. I don't you care. Do, well, dude. see, but that's, and I think that's what kind of makes it challenging for Justin to really answer your question is because... Where he is at right now, his hometown, visiting his homies, there's not a big community. And in Las Vegas, he's saying that mm, a lot of players are right. sword art players. Um, sword art but, and Monica. Yeah, so I mean, I but, I but but Justin told me earlier before we went live that, you know, the, the, he's starting to get the rest of that community into the Japanese. Good. Um, yeah, like I already got one player playing Gargantia. And while we're on that note, you want to talk about one card that fucks up Zero Notes Kaima's days. That new Gargantia promo is just nuts. Oh! 
Yes, that's right. Because Xerneas oh, yeah, kind of loves the heal. It loves the spam heal, especially at level yeah, 2 and 3. Yeah, right. We destroy that too, and, yeah. Yep. And because you play Brainstorm all the time, there's oftentimes you're not, like, you don't have a ton of stock all the time. Mm. I mean, you, you have 3 to 4, but, you know, enough to just play your level 3s to heal. Yeah. Like, that's what, it, that's what it does. Sure. So, it's just really a pain in the ass. Like, I haven't played against that promo, but I don't want to play against it. No. Because I don't think I, I thought, have well, You fun. played against Rewrite, though, right? <laughs> Uh, no, I haven't played against Rewrite. Oh, okay, never mind. Then. I thought that promo but was I, But I know what they do, I know what they do. When I... Same thing with the level 2. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, the first so, time I saw I mean... that promo, dude, I thought that, I asked that was a joke. No. Yes, I did. Did you really? Yeah, oh, so really? I was like, that's really good. <laughs> and the, dude, the saddest part about that promo is it's a 0, so it can go into any deck, yep. and it's a searcher on top of being an anti-heal. Yep. And Gargantia doesn't care about healing anyways, their healer kind of sucks, so... I don't yeah, see Gargantia I, I, often. Actually, I don't, I don't know anybody. Oh, well, because like you wouldn't play Gargantia unless you like Gargantia. So, I mean, okay. So I haven't finished it, but I so far I like it. But I, I mean, haven't even started it. It's pretty sick. Mm. It's pretty sick. Think of it like what James Cameron's Avatar should have been. Ha! <laughs> no, okay. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. Dances with wolves. Fern Gully. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you pronounce yes. Fern Gully wrong? Yes, I, I did. You <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said that to you really? once. You did, yeah, I you did. did okay, yeah. That, was, that, was, that was funny. Yeah. Dude. Hey, you said Fern Gully wrong, dude. Oh, sorry. I have five but, um, Why? I that's another. That. That's a whole other argument. So, I mean... No, it's weird. I no, guess... Weird. No, don't do that. <laughs> I guess it's just, like, kind of culture shock here, then, because, I mean... Um, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, know, it's, it's interesting, because, again, we, I mean, we talked about this last week and the week before <laughs> that, even... Everywhere is different. The Midwest plays different. We play different stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Justin obviously is encountering different stuff. Uh, our Illinois group is encountering different stuff. Not ours, but our friends They're, in Illinois. Yeah, you know, them. them yeah. Those guys, mm-hmm. Who were challenging this summer, by the way. Second week of July, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Audrey, <laughs> Audrey sadly, had just, in, just informed us on Facebook that she can't listen tonight because her laptop is down. Okay. Um, that's okay. okay. But um, Watch it later. yeah, I, 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 Justin actually has been watching our show since episode four. Nice. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what I mean, you did hear that. So that's that that awful. Oh, Wait, that so the perfect issue. example of what you were talking about, Joel, was like the the perfect example of what you're talking about was. You said Zunot's kind of really isn't played there. Right. I, I haven't been to LA, but I know it's played the shit out of there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sam was telling me how Fairy Tale is played hardcore at your guys' place. Yeah. I'm the only Fairy Tale player here. Like, I'm the only Fairy Tale player in Vegas, and I think there's one or two Fairy Tale players in LA. Move to Japan. So, that's true. Move to Japan, dude. There you go. Because, well, Fairy Tale is just hard to find. Like, true. I spent way too much money on my Fairy Tale cards. How much? How much did you spend? Oh, yeah, how much did you spend? Uh, <laughs> well, I got really lucky, and I made a deal with somebody in Singapore. Lols, mm. my package actually came, but uh, so I got all this stuff for. I got all this stuff for a good price, mm. but uh, how much would it have cost you if you bought them outright, though? There you go. How much uh, hypothetically my current deck, could have been? My, my current deck, outright right now, if you were to buy it, would cost like four hundred bucks. Oh, man. That's okay, that's about what I spent on buying a crap ton of cards, so... Well, yeah, but you just buy... Well, see, the, the, the thing is, is that deal on uh, in Singapore, it came with uh, three of the Foil Lucy Searchers, and, like, we just valued them at UUT prices, mm-hmm. and they were, like, $7 cheaper than what they should have been. Whoa! But uh, the real winners were these two here. These are the Foil 3K counters and uh, the Extra Booster. Yeah. So yeah. UUT apparently has been out of stock on these for multiple years, and I talked to Yusuke uh, from Akimoto TCG, yep. and he tells me that the Leo is worth like 45-ish, and that the Ares is worth like 50. But we went off Utah prices, and like they were three dollars each when he sold them to me. <laughs> so the prices, the prices weren't updated. You're saying? Well, yeah, because they weren't in stock. Like there was no point to update it because That's they. That's true. They don't have to in stock. Yep. I've okay. been watching Yuute for like year, months, trying to get mm. more of these. Because I just want more for my collection, never gonna and they they never ever get them in stock. So nope. from what Yusuke tells me, like that they're really expensive, but it's this deck's also expensive because I play all four colors too. So like right. I play every expensive card and every 
color. So, like, I've got the level 3 Urzas I play, like, two of. Mm -hmm. This card's a beast. He's hard to find, but the level 1 Suiciding Natsu, he's, like, 20 each. Mm -hmm. And I got a place out of him. Uh, the Great Changer. Uh, the Suicider is worth, like, four or five bucks, like, and I play, like, yeah. three of him. And uh, th that's just a deck. Like, I actually collect Fairy Tale. This is my uh, my binder. Nice. And I've actually got all my binder. commons. I've actually got all my commons and, like, uncommons in the binder because mm -hmm. I just like Fairy Tale so much. Right. So, like, I've nice. purchased way too much Fairy Tale. Like, I don't even use half of this crap. Oh, <laughs> you won't feel bad next no. show. You will not feel bad He's, next like, show. going through his shit. Oh, He's God, like, I have way right. too much money. Like, look at this. Like, <laughs> well, like, like, for this, this is another counter, another one of the green counter. It's 25 because it's not foil, but, yeah, like, I haven't even put it in a deck. I just have it. Just I got it for $3, so yeah, it's it's whatever. Dude, Chris, as it is right now, has an int Look. He started stealing my cards, my extras. Yeah. He was just like, I'm taking these, right? <laughs> and I was like, no, just, just hold on a minute here, guy, right? So then, like, so he took a bunch of my, he took, like, a bunch of very, very, but he has a whole binder now of just cards that no one wants. Just right? female cards. Just female All cards. All waifu. Completely full. When did you start that binder? Waifu binder. Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> and it's full. So, yeah. You guys. You guys. Well, like, so much on Sunset. I'm gonna buy a binder just specifically for the, well, that one promo. To. Yeah, I'm gonna buy that one. I'm gonna buy an Asuna Yui promo uh, binder. There's a well. There's more to it than just that. Like you saw my four color fairy tale deck, mm -hmm. but I also play Urza Waifu because yeah, Urza's exactly. amazing. It's waifu. So waifu like, the tier. so exactly, you're saying I got the Urza cards. So you're saying what the meta is is Waifu. <laughs> as as one great wise player once said. God tier, my waifu. Bottom tier, your waifu. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you guys haven't even seen my waifu yet. Well, I mean, Urza's a waifu, but she's not god tier waifu. Well, okay, I lied to you guys. Whoa, okay. whoa, 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 whoa. This whoa. is my she's real waifu. <laughs> Shaq. It yeah. sounds like Justin's talking shit about our waifus, dude. God tier waifu. There you go. No, I, I appreciate too. that, too. Yep. Yeah, dude. I, I love, love that stuff. I love, I love. Why well, boo. Fate Zero is my favorite anime, but I love Saber. So, King Arthur, bro. What about that Fate Saber right. stuff? That's where all the Sabers are. Yep. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, when, whenever, uh, whenever I get back to Vegas, like if I'm on again, hopefully I want to be like on every week. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually got like a bunch of Saber figures and stuff in my room because <laughs> Saber is just that awesome. Challenge: nice. Create Husbando Binder with uh, within a day. You think it's possible? Depends. Oh. Uh, do you have the cards count? I will I will show you Supreme Life of Love. <laughs> oh my god. No, that is no. nothing. I will show you this next Sunday. I will beat you. How many do you have, Chris? 94. Of which one? Of how many? One card. 94 copies of one card. Yeah, but these are promos. They are promos. promos. Yeah. <laughs> Holy, yeah, these are all promos. These are all English promos. I don't know. I just kept asking people Actually, them. that's not even it. There's another one right here. <laughs> just way back. Case. Just in case. Just in case. No, just no, no, in next case. Week, I got it next week. Oh man, nope. it's so funny. Chris, you're not gonna be here next week, are you? Please don't. This is weird. This is really weird. Oh, I'm fine, dude. Just no. <laughs> Filthy oh, plebeians fine. having multiple waifus. I I am okay with having multiple waifus. I don't know about you guys, but I, I support having multiple. I waifus. might have. Okay, I. One wife who doesn't know, but I may have a couple other side wife. <laughs> ton of wives, dude. Like I, I put my waifus in like their own tier list. God tier was Saber, A tier was most other waifus, like Lara, who's on the uh, Urza deck, which you cannot see because my hand's covering it, but yeah, Urza deck with Lara sleeves, because waifu on waifu is awesome. But it yeah, also doesn't dude. help that it also doesn't help that they don't have Urza sleeves. Like they don't exist. Fairy tale sleeves are really hard to find, and there's only three right. kinds. Right. Like, there's like a Natsu mate. one. Mm. Yeah, the Natsu, the Wendy, and the Lucy. Yeah. Uh, the Natsus are hard to find and really expensive. I'm, I don't care too much for Lucy. She's okay, and Wendy's cool, but like I'd rather have Natsu. And I know I can get them custom made, but it's not worth like a fifty-five dollars I'd have to spend. Right. Yeah. Like, I'd so just buy a box. So do you know if they're gonna do like a Japanese? Regionals in America again, like they did last year. Or? Uh, I'm hoping they do. That's I mean, what I'm hoping really too. I'm telling you, I'll did. follow a deck for it. 
Yeah, Chris. Will, did you? Chris will throw did it you out compete like in the one last yeah, year? Yeah, I'll, I'll drop a thousand dollars if they do it. Uh, I did not. I did not. Oh, I couldn't okay. afford to go. Oh. Where was the closest one to you? L.A. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. What for last year? But didn't they have one in L.A.? I'm pretty sure they did. No, they did. The Japanese regionals. So yeah. Yeah. Did we, did we look, they generally that? have them. They generally have them in what? Texas, L.A., no, New York, one. and oh, we had one, like, one other place. We only had one here last. I thought there was more than one here last year in Minnesota. No, just level up. Really? Yeah. I don't know. California is a really big like TCG state, so you can pretty much on. find regionals for anything here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I I gotta point out my my main waifu, Al the Alpaca. <laughs> we all know that's true right there. Al the Alpaca. Alpaca. See, the best part about having an alpaca waifu is that if you cheat on her with other waifus, the alpaca's not gonna care. No. <laughs> true waifu, right here. But no, it's it's obviously Al. It has to be Al the Alpaca. Oh, fear the shy guy just said. That Heart of the Cards will be representing the Japanese regionals in America again. Good, we'll actually get to Dude, play in a tournament. Awesome. Better start buying Yanni, some Major Beats cards. Yanni so, is a Heart of the Cards judge for Minnesota, so... Does does that mean that if, oh, there, like... Dude? I mean, why Wy- Wars is, like, the game of waifu decks. Does that mean, like, if if a chick wanted to, she could put, like, the, the husband do deck with greys because he's like, has no shirt? Yeah, dude. No, that's my deck. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> You insult the husband deck, dude. By the way, dude, if Sam, I, I know, like if I had a husband deck, I don't even know. Sam, yeah, what? he was there tonight, man. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because we have because we're all on spring break. How far did Yanni? Oh, that's right. Yanni was, he was the judge, right? He didn't judge that. No, tournament. he did not. No, judge that he beat you though. Yeah. Right. He he took it. He took first place. He, he took first place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Okay. No, no if I had a true. husband deck. Oh, dude, that doesn't if count. I, no. If I, no. <laughs> that doesn't count. No. Boo Blaharo, because. It's not a guy. <laughs> it's a girl. Player two or whatever. I like both cookies, man. I like both sides, so it's okay. I like my cream. Dude, and my like, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I keep hearing, like, this one husband deck that exists that's supposed to be. Uh, Leto or Leto from Gargantia. Oh yeah, no, he's actually pretty good though. So okay. this... yeah, that one, that episode when we were talking about the the broke yeah, no, cards, he was, he was one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three. I have a, hus- a husband a husbando deck, and it's this. And it sucks. It sucks. Like a good husbando should. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> High five, guys. Yeah. Not touching that hand. Yeah. No. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah. Jokes on you, he peed on the hand. Oh, I did more than that, buddy. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I don't even... We'll stop. I don't even know what time we started. We got a little bit more. Um, Justin, dude, like, how do you build your decks? I always yeah, yeah, do a... Yeah. I always do a top-down deck design, generally. <laughs> that's exactly I generally that's start... Exactly. You start with your level threes and down, or...? Yeah, like, it's literally top-down, as it says, because I... I mean, being a Magic player, I want to come up with a game plan, and I know my game plan's at level 3. Mm-hmm. So, generally it's at level 3, unless you're playing Sorted Online, then it's at level 1, and just doesn't go from there. Unless you play Silica, but anyway. I think... So, I, <laughs> I start with level 3, and then I kind of go to level 1, because to me that's more important than level 2 in most decks, mm-hmm. depending on the series. Like, I mean, for Zero Notes of you're level 2, but, like, in Sorted Online, for example, I can kind of give you an idea of how I built that deck. I went Silica Climax combo because it's good. Yeah. Level 1's because they're stupid. You know, level 2 is just kind of filler. But And level 0 right. beat down. But for Fairy Tale, like, I knew I wanted to play the Grey that heals because he, he heals, and if you have the Makarov booster in play, he's 13,000 with just one booster. On your opponent's turn with Recollection, this is a, a memory deck, so it puts a lot of cards in memory to compress. Right. So I started with him because uh, he heals, I went to Urza next in the level 3, only as a 2 of, just because she's a waifu and I wanted to play her. Sure. But she also sure. double attacks. If you discard her Climax that she combos with, she double attacks. So she what kind of a, wins what games else is, on her Is own. there another cost for that, or is that just the only cost? Uh, no, you gotta attack with her, you reverse the character, pay 2, and discard the Climax, and then she stands back up. Okay. You can probably kill so, her once a turn per turn, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Oh. Actually, I don't know. It might be able to be do, done more than once per turn. Dude, that would be amazing. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Summer Alliance does once per turn. Like, I, I don't. I, I only play two of the climax, so I never have them in hand because I play six oh, gates. Yeah. But so after that, I moved on to twos. Obviously, I'm playing the gray that changes into level three gray because mm. why not? Uh, and then I play the, the booster as well. The Makara booster it gives one thousand to front, and then global five hundred to magic if you got two more memory. So yeah. he, he's just really good. Uh. Actually, here, here he is. And then I play the level one not su suicider because he's a douche. <laughs> level, level one suicider. Yeah, I hate that guy. He's just douchey. And right. then if you got the climax combo, he reverses and puts on top deck, so it's guaranteed damage. Uh -huh. It's just really solid. Uh, and then the other level one I play is the Urza because she's basically a one zero six five. <laughs> if you got two or more cards in memory, okay. which this deck always has. <laughs> Funny story. Last level one I play is this card because it's a massive troll. On play, burn both players for one. <laughs> yeah, Persona, the old Persona 3 set. I actually got a couple of those cards today. I have a bunch of those cards. It's not cancelable at all. Oh, uh, no. This, damage cancel can't occur for this. Oh, damage cancel can't occur for Persona 3 because they didn't know what damage cancel was. But see, this, this is funny because if they cancel the damage... Well, first of all, every time I play this, I, I burn myself one and I always cancel because I'm just... Like, this You're card professional, right? You're a professional right. player, right? Yeah, yeah. So, anyways... <laughs> Pro. Anyways, Pro. so, um, yeah, so, uh, it burns, well, if your opponent cancels, that's one clan action you don't got to worry about. If it doesn't, then they let you do unfair things. I was playing my buddy's railgun deck, and I let him play Fairy Tale just because he wanted to try something new and see how his railgun deck played in my hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, so I had the game locked down. I was at, like, 3-2, and he was at, like, 3-5 three, three or something like that, or 3-4. Mm -hmm. I pretty much had the game locked down. He had almost nothing in play. Mm -hmm. He plays the first copy of this I play, burns us both for one, plays the second copy, burns us both for one, and then attacks me and kills me. <laughs> like, and I can I can safely say, if he did not have these burns, he would not have won, because I looked at, like, the tops of our decks and everything, and... Yeah, like, I honestly would have won the game had he not burned me for one. Yeah, this card is a massive troll. <laughs> Upon losing or winning, you always check the next three cards. Always. You always yeah, right. Right. Always do 95 do chance, the 95% chance the next card's a climax. Never fails. Yeah. Just like you will always clock a climax upon a refresh. Just so, <laughs> Yeah. Happened, ever since you pointed it out, dude... Happens that every happens all the time. You, like, time. The less mad you get about it, the more happens, it seems. <laughs> No, I get really mad Pretty about much. it. Happens all the time. So, I mean, Justin, you kind of build your deck like you would a magic deck, and I think that's really interesting, because, like, me coming from Pokemon, I kind of build... It's weird, because all the Pokemon decks I played, except well, with the exception of one, were built with one attacker. Mm-hmm. One or two attackers. That's how like yeah. most of my Pokemon decks were built. Because that's how you start. You you center them around your attackers, kind of. And then yeah. You, a lot of the stable trainers are in most decks, but then when it comes to your Pokemon lineup, you you build around the attackers. So like I guess you kind of build the same way I do, I guess. But then you were also yeah. saying like you start top down. And then that kind of determines your climaxes, right? So, I mean... Pr pretty much. Like, for example, you know, once I knew that I was playing level 3 Urza, I knew I was playing Climax and went with her, but not very many because it's a win trigger, so I kind of wanted it, like, against Sword Art Online because if Marker Asuna gets too far out of control in the metagame I play, like, level 1 not too sweet, but Marker Asuna gets one level for each marker she has, so level 1 Asuna, or level one not too can't really touch her. So um, I put the win triggers in there to deal with that, mainly... And then they just comboed with the Urza. I like the ability to restand. Gates were just yeah. good, and the the other gate that I play, the Natsu versus Zero, combos with the level one. So, and then like I do some random stuff. Like this is my ultra super awesome tech for Fairy Tale. These two. Well, basically, you have the green in there just to help with your green for uh, the Aquarius. But it's a 500 booster, and then whenever you do startup ability, plus 500 to a character. So the gray, uh, the level two gray has uh, draw one, discard one as a startup ability which it kind of works with that if you need to get over something. But what it's really in there for is this card here, which is the Master of Kate Shelter. Now, this card is ridiculous with this card because this is uh, pay one. It's a startup, too. So pay one, give a character plus 1,500, and then at end of turn, it's with the memory. So you can do it, like, three times in one turn. But since it's a startup effect, if you have this in play, it gives another 500. So each time you pay one, it's plus 2,000 to a character. 
Damn. So you can you can get like obnoxiously huge. That's awesome. And then this goes to memory and compresses you unless you climax more. Right. Like oftentimes I'll refresh and have eight or seven climaxes in like a twenty five card deck. See, I think I just really suck at this game then, because I like just uh, <laughs> I don't build that way. And you can tell by my by my win loss ratio. Um but I just basically like look at all the good cards and then I just try to make it all work. <laughs> and then I eventually you know what, and then I you know what I do. I end up oh, yeah. tinkering with it and taking stuff out until it all the time. Until it until it works. Yeah, until it like kinda kinda fizzles down to one specific thing. But I just like I kinda tinkering. do that too. I mean mm -hmm. the the fairy tale deck that I've shown you so far, like it originally was a gray deck. It played like yellow and blue. Not it didn't play mm -hmm. any other two colors. It eventually became four colors just because four colors is awesome and Dude, there's right? a lot of crazy things you can do. Yeah, I love running four colors. I don't do it anymore. Four colors intimidates me a little bit. Nah, it's fun. It's like it's hectic as hell. I love it. It's it's really hectic. Like it's honestly kind of hard to play, but mm -hmm. it's worth every bit of it. And another reason why I wanted to do four colors with Fairy Tale is like Fairy Tale is my favorite Shonen series. Yeah. So um, I wanted to do four colors because everybody knows if you watch Fairy Tale that Fairy Tale's strongest team is Natsu Gray, Urza, and Lucy, and they are in their colors they represent. So Lucy's nice. green, Urza's yellow, Gray's blue, and Natsu's red. So now oh. I had an excuse to build like Fairy Tale Strongest Team dot deck. That's cool. See, that's like we talked about that before, like a long time ago. I think it was even the first episode where it's like all like like how well each set represents its source material. Don't yeah, know. exactly. Like like yeah. I, think, I think we brought up I, I don't remember a vivid red has a lot of it's not changes, it's docking, right? So you take two characters, put them together, they form the level three. Yeah. And we've gone over this list like a thousand times now. Like, uh, What's really uh, cool about Fairy Tale, right? and I know like I just won't shut up about Fairy Tale, but it's just that awesome, Waifu is it, it, if you guys uh, watch Fairy Tale at all, do you guys watch Fairy Tale at all? Nope. Nope. Well, uh, there's character Urza, the red-haired chick that I tell you about. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she has what's called Requip Magic, where basically she has the ability to change oh, yeah, armors yeah, in the yeah, middle of a fight. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, the cards, the way they uh, interact, and they do that kind of armor-changing thing is really sweet. So this is the uh, Blackwing Armor Urza, mm -hmm. and she changes into Flame Empress on your opponent's draw mm -hmm. step. Then the Flame Empress gets, like, plus 1,500, and, no, my bad, plus 2,500 Ooh. in Hand Encore. And then on your, it becomes 6-5 with Hand Encore. And then on your draw step, this changes back into Blackwing. And Blackwing has a climax combo where well, whatever you change it, it gets plus 2-5. And it has climax combo where whenever you attack, you've got the plus 2 soul climax in your climax zone. You can put an Urza card from your deck to the waiting room. So you go and put this one, and like they kind of emulate that in the show where she changes sure. armors off and on. You can keep changing those two. It's really sick how they do that. That's, That's super, super cool. cool. Like the, oh, that James. card design I just thought was awesome. Yeah. Right. And that's one thing, you know, that's why, I don't know, maybe we suck in Minnesota, but we play, we must play, like, super casual, because it's, like, that's really what we do. We, like, we, like, oh, it's really cool, I want play this, you know, like, we all play what we like. Oh, yeah. Not necessarily anything else. But I think after talking about the meta that one episode, and I came to understand it, that's, mm -hmm. that's what you should do then, right? That, yeah, you should really yeah. play by Schwartz's intention to be like, oh, man, you know, I want to be the best, I want to, I want to play the best I want to be... Yeah, so you don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I just play the series I enjoy. Exactly. I don't even care if they're good. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I think, like who sorry, plays? Like who? Who here? Anybody has started playing by shorts because they're like, I want to win. Who's done that? Anybody here? Anybody? I just win anyway. Anybody? So I just, I don't <laughs> Shut the whole No, you don't. My my, my first <laughs> Japanese series. My my first Japanese series was Fairy Tale. Actually, it was yeah, it was Fairy Tale, and uh, everybody told me about how much Fairy Tale like really wasn't that good, mm. and I was like, well, I don't really care. I want to build the Urza deck because Urza is like one of my A tier waifus, mm. and they were really knocking on the Urza deck because, to be quite honest, the deck's not that good. It doesn't heal, and it just kind of soul rushes. Right, it's big. Right, but I played it anyways just because I liked Urza. So. You know, I think people should just play the series they like and not yeah. really concern themselves with what wins. Well, it, it makes it so, so much more enjoyable when, like, well, I, this is broken record at this point, but when when you like when you throw down a climax of the, of the best scene, right, or your favorite scene, it's so cool. You just every time I play it, and I don't play it anymore because mine sucks. But every time I played Sword Art, I would hear the the, the theme, the sword land yeah. in my head, and just, that's all I would hear. 
And then every time I play, you know, every time I play, uh, what, Madoka Magica, I hear the damn theme. And it's just so damn cool, man. That happens to me whenever I play my Urza Fairy Tale deck, mm. especially because, you know, I, I think the whole... I know people acknowledge the existence of Tears and Weiss, and I hate it because while some series will be better than others, I still hate the idea that people... You, yeah, their you can't off really of put one so much far above the other. There's better stuff, but I think, but, right. I think that's what Chris I mean, was saying yeah. last week mm -hmm. and I mean, the week the, before. Yeah. To, to put to put it into perspective, I mean, like, okay, so everybody's like, Fairy Tale Urza deck is like uber jank. It doesn't heal. Mm -hmm. All it does is just hit high numbers and soul rush. Well, I was playing against a Zero Notes Kaima player once, which is considered to be like an A tier deck. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had I had this Urza in play, and she is pay one, uh, add one soul, rest both the back row characters for plus two five. And then she has a climax combo where she gets plus four K and one soul. Uh, whenever you play this climax, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, yeah. which is a which is a one k one soul climax, and these were the Urza boosters I had. So yeah. uh, they give global one thousand to Urza on your turn. Mm -hmm. So I have both of these in back, and I rest both of them, and uh, play the climax for the climax combo. And this Urza hits like sixteen thousand five hundred power, seventeen thousand five hundred power, something ridiculous like that. And uh, I actually noticed my opponent was out of climaxes. So I just loaded her up with soul, and I actually yeah. dealt like, 10 or 11 damage in one swing with her, and took my opponent from 2.5 to like 4.5 in one Ooh. shot. And he, was, and he was playing Zero Notes of Kaima, too. It was like yeah, this it's... supposed A tier deck. I'm like, I just beat you with. I think Urza. the majority of people, you know, just use tiers as kind of like an excuse. Like, oh, why did my deck lose? Oh, my, my deck's uh, low tier. Or like, why, why do you play that? Oh, because it's high tier. They can't just admit that, oh, one, I'm bad. Two, you like anime, like deal with it. That doesn't mean that. Right. Yeah, well, to I mean, to be fair, when I came into Weiss, like I posted on a forum, I was like, "What's the best deck to... there is?" Because I want to play in tournaments. I like playing in tournaments. I'm a competitive person, yeah. and I came from yeah. Magic. In Magic, there's generally like five decks that are topping all the yep. time. Yeah. So I was like, "What's one of those five decks? I want to build that." And they're like, "Dude, just play the series you like." Yeah, and that's all I've ever I, seen. I thought, too, I yeah. thought that well, <laughs> initially, I thought they were just making fun of me. Because I was like, there's no way that could work. And then I bought this really uber jank Urza deck. It was like really crappier than the one sitting in front of me. Mm -hmm. I only spent like 120 bucks on it. And I was actually like winning against some really top tier stuff. Yeah. Like English SAO was like the best English deck. And I'd win against that. And I was like, whoa, you can win with any deck. So now, I mean, I've seen King of Fighters top an event. So, like, everybody Woo just. You know what? Up, you know, Woozer <laughs> also topped an event, too. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Japan, yeah, in Japan, they just play whatever they want. They don't, they don't care at all. Like Lucky right. Star, like the Woozer. Stuff that you know is low tier can still win. You can't exactly. You can't, uh, can't yourself wasn't like that. wasn't Dog Days considered pretty like not very good? Yeah. And then, and not then very good. And then obviously, you know, Rafael Vigo showed the world that uh, not really. Yeah, well, Dog Days was considered pretty bad too, I think. And then this one guy takes it to this this event, and they're like everybody's playing Salvage because that is just what's considered good and wise. Yeah. And that deck just shits on Salvage. Yeah. So it destroys them. Right. And like you're like, oh man, maybe this isn't so bad. Maybe Did, you know, whatever. Okay, uh, was he running the bodyguard from Dog Days? No. Really? No. He just ran uh, um the Kuvert level three which heals. That's its only purpose. Mm -hmm. And um the level three Milhi which burns and heals. Okay. So. That bodyguard though. <laughs> The thing I love the most about this game is that troll decks are actually good decks. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, the, troll the decks generally stop your opponent from doing something, and then that's why they're funny. <laughs> troll decks are where the like, entire right. origin shot Exactly. From. Like, sec second impact to me is really trolly, so is Fairy no. Law, if it actually, like, gets off. Yeah, that's my buddy plays. My buddy plays AI Burst, which is this ra random <laughs> event in Railgun that's it costs 9 to play, and it's a level 3 event. But basically, if you do it, you get to put two of your opponent's characters at level two or less in their clock. <laughs> so it's this uber troll card. Wow. Uh, I really want to play the Persona deck that has Execution, mm -hmm. because that card to me looks like a blast. Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah. Yeah. Pay, yeah, see, pay and seven. that's like the spirit eight, of Wife. Like, you want to play it because it's funny and you like Persona, you know, like... Yeah, well, I Twitter. love Persona, yeah. like... Bullshit. Square Square quit being my favorite video game company years ago and moved over to Atlas when Atlas, I started yes. playing Persona. Shin Megami Tensei, uh, Etrian Dude, Odyssey, yeah. name it. Me name and it. Justin were talking about Square Enix before you guys called us and uh, just talking about Bashing we, in the we were reminiscing <laughs> about Final Fantasy 6 VI and 7 and Rest 10. Rest in peace, and, Final like, Fantasy. R.I.P. R.I.P. Until 15 comes out and is awesome. I, I always Second tell minute. people, I always tell people that they haven't made a good Final Fantasy the past 10 years, or 14 years. Like, whenever 10 came out, that was the last good one. Uh, yep. 
Yeah. Yep. 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 As far as single player, I, I like eleven just because. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like multiplayer, like, like the city was fun. I like the city. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The city. I like the city. But, but to me, like I'm talking actual Final Fantasy. Right. Mainstream title. Yeah. What you didn't like Dirge of Cerberus? Dude, Dirge of <laughs> Cerberus was Dirge of Cerberus was crap. Like that game convinced me that Square Enix could actually shit inside of a game box, <laughs> put the Final Fantasy VII logo on it, and try and sell it and. People would still buy it. Oh, I bought it. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it, brought it home, beat it in one sitting, and I brought it back, and they took it. Yeah. They were like, <laughs> like okay. I, I bought it because I used to be a Final Fantasy VII fanboy, and I was like, this is going to be the best game ever. And I beat it, and I thought it was just dog shit. And like, that reassured me, you know what? I'm convinced that like they could put like a dead hamster or something in a box. That's what they I did. Like, oh, <laughs> I eat People hamsters. will buy that shit. People will buy that shit. And it makes me so so upset because I'm like, there are way better games out there. Yep. Final Fantasies four, six, and ten are really good. Eight has an excellent story, but the junction system is stupid. Oh, what? The draw wait, wait, wait. Like. It has an excellent story, except for, well, we all grew up together in the same, you know, orphanage. We don't remember each other though. Who the hell are you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> there, there are some holes, but like, I like the I like the love story in eight. I like the oh, I like yeah. the love story a lot. It's... I just I really hated the draw system and the junction system. You didn't like nine. Stupid. Oh, no, I liked 9, okay. but, like, I just... It's the Final Fantasy that I've... Like, I've played it, but I haven't went back and replayed it. Like, I have the others. 9 is the only one. Well, no, it's not the only one. But but the end? We've had this discussion I don't want to spoil We've had this discussion so but, much. But, come on, the game's, like, flipping 20 years old. And not, but it's close. It's it's old. We've it's, like, it 15, so much. 14 years old. But, but the end of 9, when, when you think Zidane is dead. Spoilers. Uh, he's not. <laughs> And, uh, and like, <laughs> you know, Renault is all sad, and all of a sudden, like, it, I don't know. You mean uh, Garnet? Garnet. Don't play it now. I just shot the stream. Don't play it. Or Sarah, as her real name is. Um, oh, Sarah! Sarah! <laughs> uh, she, like, uh, so like, they're watching a play, and, like, the like the hooded figure pulls the hood off, and it's Zidane. And she just flips out. She runs up. She tackles him. They hug, and then she, like, hits him. It's phenomenal. <laughs> I just got chills, by the way. Oh, that was me. Thanks. Dude, I actually did like Crisis Core too. Dude, Crisis Core was pretty good. I actually liked it, but I mean, to me, it just it still doesn't compare to like Final Fantasy IV, for example. Like that game, I don't know if you guys have played Final Fantasy IV, but that yeah. game is phenomenal. Mm. So, uh, game or uh, White Schwartz? <laughs> hey, we're over Showtime. We're over Showtime, so we can talk about whatever now. We should edit it. <laughs> just talk, whatever. We're gonna go get Taco Bell, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna go get Taco Bell. We'll be back. Probably. So hungry. Um, I I wanna I just wanna thank Justin for coming on. Oh the yeah, show. thanks, it buddy. Was, it was kind of a chill hangout with Justin episode, but that's totally okay with me. Yeah, it was like a it, little meet and greet. Yeah. Yeah, it mm. kind of gave us an idea of what what the what the stuff's like over there, mm-hmm. and I think I think uh, you know we're gonna have to come over there and kick your ass a little bit, dude, and watch for us. before we yeah. do all this, before we you know, before we all say you know our goodbyes and all that stuff, you know, there's a very important question we have to ask everybody, everybody that joins our show, okay? Hmm. <sighs> So if you had cake, oh my wiener, god, right, and you had to sit on one and eat the other, what would you do? Leave him <laughs> alone. No, no, no answer. Answer it. You guys are serious. <laughs> yeah. 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 You have yeah. cake question. and a wiener. You have to eat one and sit on the other. What would you do and why? What would I do and why? Well, here's my nonsensical actual reason why I would do it. I would. Sit on the wiener and eat the cake because Urza likes cake and and uh, fairy tale and cake is amazing. Like, Good. See, her, her, at least, like, no. while you're sitting on the wiener, you get some cake, right? You at least you can enjoy some cake. Whereas if yeah, you sit yeah. on the cake, you have cake all over your ass and you got a big wiener in your mouth. Okay. Yep. Pretty, pretty much, pretty much. By the way, uh, Terumang, you asked if I was Deathgara on Pojo. That is 100% correct. I'm not but, sure how you figured that out, but yeah, that would be me. That's weird. Hmm. Mm. I've literally never watched like a full Naruto episode except for except for a lot of the tuning exam ones. Mm. Um, but I do watch a lot of the fight compilations on YouTube. Yeah. And Gara is seriously the baddest motherfucker. He is so cool. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god. Gara's my favorite character. I guess back in like two thousand three or whenever the show came out, I got I really got into it. And uh, I was trying to like think of a name for online stuff. And uh, I was like on RuneScape actually, and I just couldn't think of anything. And I was just like, I was trying to get Gara, but of course it was taken because fanboys. And um, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, 
I, I just put Gara in, and RuneScape recommended Death Gara, and I'm like, that name sounds cool. I'll use that. Sure, so I'll I take that, it. I picked that name in, like, 2003 or whatever, and since then, it's just because I've been too damn lazy to think of a new name. That's yeah. actually, you know what? That actually fits me, because I, I don't even really do anything with Naruto anymore. I read it every week, but that's about it. I don't buy it. I don't watch it. I just read it every week. That's about it. I have a, really, because... right, I have a really old forum <laughs> name that I still have on, on GameFAQs. It's, uh, it's... Joel Demort. <laughs> <laughs> what a whitey! <laughs> Dude, that's the most legit name I've ever heard. Shut up! <laughs> that is pretty legit. Shut yeah. Up. What? Yeah. Dude, so that's, dude, that's that's the so most legit name ever. <laughs> thank you, Justin. Man, thank you so much, dude. It was really cool. Um, dude, no, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. I mean, really, like the fact that you've been watching since episode four. Yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's legit. Like, uh, well, you know, before Christmas be fair, on and everything. We do pay him, so. <laughs> With, to be fair. Dude, Chris, so, so. Have we gone from advertising the origin shot to advertising Shaq Soda? Like, is that is that our, like, no. our new thing? Dude, we gotta pay the bill yeah. somehow. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> go, go buy this piece How of poop. How else soda. would you drink this piece of poop oh. in a can? We have a new hashtag. Hashtag things still the mark. Spell the wrong. Oh thing. my god. Oh, so <laughs> I mean, uh, next week I think we're going to uh, announce know. some stuff. Okay. I do have a giveaway. I do have another giveaway for Clock Draw, everybody. does not cancel. This is totally random. I just drew on this thing. Whatever. But, like, it's uh, Nemu from the Capo. So if you want that, you could totally have it. But you have to, you have to, you have to be a subscriber on the YouTubes, and you have to comment on this episode. And I will send this to somebody. Would you guys quit screwing around? I'm not! It was hilarious! <laughs> you can't hear me? He who does not cancel? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> right? I know! So That's I drew great. Nemu uh, from DeCapo. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys want it, be a subscriber and comment on this episode. Share it with the homeboys. And uh, uh, Justin, you are not eligible for this prize because you were on this episode, so screw you. And uh, <laughs> screw the rules. I don't have money. I'm a college student. Uh, screw. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, like you know, I have money, but I play Fairy Tale and Zero No Tsukima. You give a bridge, dude. Like, screw the rules. I have money. <laughs> dude, I have that shirt. I actually screw met him at money. Anime Expo. I oh, you met, met the guy Martin. at Anime Expo? Yeah, I, made yeah, a, yeah, I met him last year, and I actually got a shirt. I've actually got his autograph too. Did you ever see the vagina one where he's like, screw the vagina, I have a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, my favorite, my, favorite, my, favorite, uh -huh. <laughs> my favorite line in that show is Brooklyn Rage, so I actually got him to say Brooklyn Rage. Nice. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I actually won the first contest we ever did, which was hilarious. Because <laughs> I entered my name, <laughs> yeah, I entered my name in to test it and see how it worked, and so I was the first winner. I was like, oh, yeah, this cool. Is, this is, this is, <laughs> thanks, me. Not eligible to yeah. win. I just thought I would keep it fresh with the giveaways, you know, and I'll give away a couple of Decapo promos yep. with it. So, YouTube, sub, 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 and comment on that j -j 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 joint when we post it, okay? So, so I'll send you this with a couple of Decapo promos and other random promos. Yeah, that's first place. Second place gets Chris. But you, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> come pick him up or pay for shipping. I'm not doing that. You pay for shipping, lad. Please, please, somebody <laughs> win. Second place, please. So, yeah. So, please. thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Caught to Dry episode 12? 12. That's going to be the name of the episode, by the way. Episode huh? 12? That's the name of the episode, because I said it earlier, too. Pretty sure it's <laughs> Yeah. And uh, for March 17, 2014, Justin, thanks again, bro. You've been really cool. And, uh -oh. um, uh, if you had to, you know, sit on a leaner and eat a cake, you know, that's legit. I mean, that's the legit answer. Uh, I think that's pretty important. Uh, as well, as, you know. And, you know, since me and Chris are Asian, you know, it's, it's, it's important to have another whitey on the show, you know. Um, yeah, thank God I'm sick of being on the show.
Stop! Ah, God, God, you're so creepy. <laughs> Dude, he, dude he's, he's like he's like yeah. swaying you with that Asian stare. Oh, yeah, guys. Please tune <laughs> the in. The stare of death right there. Please tune in Thursday nights uh, for Cards in Hand or General Tabletop Show, which we will now be be shrinking a little bit into a more of a Compact General Tabletop show. Chill Show. Um, you know, less less all the stuff around. You know, more just hanging out, talking. You know, if it goes past a half hour, it goes past a half hour, but. Um, that's going to be shrunken into a little thing. Um, and I will be announcing a new Cards in Hand contest next week, so please share, like, subscribe, follow on Twitter, twiddly, shittily Twitter, and, and, um, uh, yeah. Go sub and comment on this episode when we upload it to get this and a couple of the couple promos and what other yeah. promos will And, um, uh, and then, uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys. I'll see you guys next week. I've been Sam. He has been Joel and Chris. And Hi. Justin, the homeboy. Yep. On the west side, Yeed. Yep, Whitey from West. Thank <laughs> 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 you. I'm just gonna leave the show going. I don't care. <laughs> you gotta keep talking about the music. And, and, and no fucks were given that day. <laughs> no, yeah, no regrets. <laughs> Silent Night. I have a miniature version of a larger knife that I have. Okay. Asian Stare and Shaq Soda beats a mini knife. Sorry about that, but. <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean. The rules are already in place before you pull the knife out. I, <laughs> look, Justin doesn't make the rules, okay? <laughs> Fight to the death. Final end. God. Hey, it's the cards and hand again. Awesome. God, I need to take that. <laughs> 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 Guys, you can follow us on all the things at the cards and hand. You know how you're coming. Do you want to really have to read this again now? Do you really have to do it? Fine. Look at you. Five cards and hand, amen. Facebook.com says cards and hand, amen. YouTube.com slash cards and hand, amen. Twitter. If I'm right, is that cards and hand, amen. Oh my god, you're so big. <laughs> wow, I didn't recommend that way. Fucking Chris. <laughs> is is Joel the troll getting trolled? Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs>